Hey, this is Michael with the Mechatronics channel. Um, this is part two of a video series that is showing how to uh, use a panel view plus seven to send emails. Um, in the first uh, video, I showed how to set up an email server and an email client. And now I'm going to show you how to use an ActiveX control uh, to actually send emails from a panel view. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, find the ActiveX control. So you're going to drag and drop the ActiveX control and go to ME email sender control. I've already done this, so I'm just going to hit cancel. So this is my uh, ME email sender control. So if you click on it, there's really not much to it. It's size, name, and connections. Um, so this is how you set up the connections in order to actually send an email. And it's really not too bad, uh, but there is a few uh, things that uh, messed me up when I was originally setting this up. So the first thing you do is uh, set a tag to trigger this email. So I just made a tag called HMI send data. Uh, then you're going to put in the SMTP server address, which in the first video, if you watch that, you know we set it up as 192.168.1.200. Now remember that this has to go in quotation marks. It is a string. And if you wanted to, you can, you can set tags to all this so, you know, you can customize all of these to be whatever you want, but this is a string, so it goes in quotation marks. Um, then you're going to uh, put in the uh, port number, uh, the SMTP port number for your email server, uh, which is 25. That is the uh, standard uh, port number for SMTP. And then you'll put in your user ID, which uh, I set up that. Uh, email address in the email server is compactlogics at mechatronicschannel.com. That also goes in quotes. And the password that you use to log in to that email address, which is just admin, goes in quote, quotes. Uh, SSL enable, that's a security feature. Um, I didn't use it, so I put a zero in there. Um, send anonymous, I put true. Um, you don't have to do that because we actually are sending that from uh, this email address of Compact Logics. Um, and then you set up a from address, from name. Like I said before, all these uh, you could store all this in tags and and change it uh, on the fly to uh, set it up to come from different email addresses or send it to different email addresses. You know, whatever you want to do. Uh, and then you're going to do uh, two email addresses. So this is uh, my email address, uh, and I'm going to uh, have this so that I can see uh, I'm going to get an email, and I know that oh, you know, the, the line's not running for some reason. Um, and then, so subject and body. This is probably where you might really want to use a tag because you know you could put a different subject in it. If it's you know fault one, you put fault one. You know whatever your fault code is in the subject or whatever you want to do and then you could put a different message like a different like you could you could uh, put your put alarm messages in these um, and so that would definitely give whoever was receiving these emails a lot more uh, information about what was actually going on with the line now there's other things that I didn't do you can actually attach files um, to all these so there's there's actually uh, <clears throat> You can actually generate PDFs of uh, screenshots on panel views, and you could actually take a screenshot and attach that as a PDF um, to this, and then send that out via email. So that might even be something that that wasn't uh, fault related, but you could send out an email of uh, you know like a, a measurement uh, or a graph or something every so often, or if it gets uh, if it's trending up or trending down, um, you can also you can even put a, a signature on there. Uh, one thing I definitely recommend doing, um, especially when you're just getting started, is to put a tag in here for failure code. 
it's it's actually pretty um, useful to see uh, what that failure code is when you're troubleshooting, just trying to get this thing set up and working. I, I know that uh, even though the even though it's not the most descriptive uh, uh, string that it returns, it's it's definitely better than nothing. Um, so I put a tag in there that will give you an error code or it will tell you that it has sent successfully. The only other thing I've done on this screen is I've made a momentary push button and I've connected that to HMI send data. So when you press this button, it should trigger this to send an email. Um, I've already downloaded this to a panel view um, and so I am uh, ready to uh, press the button and see if I get an email. So we'll go up here and I will delete that, apply, okay, and then I will hit the send data button on the HMI. As you can see I got a mail sent successfully and if I refresh the folder on my uh, email client I got a message from Compact Logix that says uh, machine three is down. So everything seems to be uh, working properly. Uh, you know, I, I definitely want to do some more playing around with this in the future and maybe try to send some uh, attachments. And if I get into any of that, I will definitely post it.